Hi guys, Alex again. Hope you guys are doing well. Now today I'm going to talk about um, why brand colors are really important for your brand strategy and your setup for a longevity of your business. Now I've got the um, one of this thing here. Some of you might have known what it is. It is actually a Pantone chart, which is the international guide to color selection that will give you as accurate as possible when it comes to um, production on all forms of uh, printed disciplines. Now why um, colors are important, there are four uh, points that I can see uh, which are uh, number one, a uh, first impression. So when um, customer look at your products or your marketing, uh, approach to the market, um, they will look at uh, the impression. The first thing first is the color. So the color will sort of um, get that impression and that actually follows secondly by the um, the color that elicit a certain emotions and feeling that they can connect with. So um, once they started to connect with that feelings and emotion, it will naturally convey into which is the third one the certain information that they have in their mind that they can really relate to now and then we move on to the fourth part which is uh, it actually helps the customers to make um, certain decision of uh, whether this brand is kind of like subconsciously subconsciously connected to uh, their need so it's very interesting just by these four points uh, why um, that color colors for your brand is a uh, uh, crucial in the initial engagement of your brand and to a new market and so the second part that I'm going to talk about is more of a uh, how customer respond to your color you know like the um, study shows like 60 to 90 percent of product assessment uh, from the customers are usually based on uh, color alone and uh, It's really important to get it right in the first place. So you're going to one shot To impress them While there are so many other different products offered on the shelf and so that is like Boom if you can catch that straight away you can connect with them You can relate with them and then they will they will have certain information that they can they can kind of click with your offer then that is where the next thing is the engagement so um, now we, we spoke about the why colors are important and then how uh, customers um, respond to color and the importance of it now the the third part is um, some of the well-known uh, colors example I'll give it to you right now are for example the first one is uh, coca-cola red right so when you look at red like strong passionate red color you you think about coca-cola and that has been going on for decades um, it's a strong color when people look at that red they straight away have that information in their mind and know that is coca-cola and so another example is Cadbury so say for example a like Cadbury will have a real royal purple color and um, that is, I think, the number of the Pantone, which, which comes with the Pantone chart. That usually, um, the number is two eight six five C. C means coated. So that is the code that they will use for their brand engagement that applies throughout their whole marketing um, uh, guides. And then, say for example, another another famous companies Apple Apple first started with lots of white which is a rep representative of purity but then as the company evolved into out of that purity state they are offering the market with a varieties of different colors and that is to tap into a certain market that are really driven by colors you know that is really important and from that from my understanding is once they have tap into the varieties of colors offers to the market that sales actually go out of like you know what they see predicted so Apple has a really strong um, marketing um, 
directions and they are Yes, the way they convey their brands are very classy and premium. It's like the premium of the premium. Now, uh, another one is Google. Google is quite interesting because Google comes from the angle of introducing the um, red, blue, and green. And so these colors, on top of the colors, they have other colors as well that uh, jumble up a little bit. So Google is quite interesting because it's, it's a search engine business and it's an information and data. So it... It, it kind of like um, convey a message of varieties, data, mixture, all sorts. And uh, they will never kind of like be in, in this kind of a fixed color that I see that Google will just stick with it. Because uh, from the logo you can see, they even like rotate their logo based on the varieties of information that they are keep updating on the website, on the web. So... And then the uh, I'll give you a last one McDonald's probably everyone will know what color McDonald's choose you know so it's the yellow M the arch the golden arch and the red so red is basically like um, passion excitement you know like uh, appetite and you know like you felt like wow there's some energy in it and then that the yellow is kind of like a happy happy colors and that's why if you look at um, the smiley face they use the yellow you know even even like amazon as well use that yellow for that you know that that smiley face so you know that that is sort of a psychological resemblance of how they apply it so that in general market they have that subconscious connection straight to the brand now the um I'll give you an example a couple of example of colors and the feeling behind those uh, colors so let's say purple purple is kind of like a uh, representative of royal uh, majesty and uh, spiritual and even um, mysterious you know that that is purple and then you got red red is just like what I said just now it's a, a, it's, a, it's passion like love um, then you got excitement and energy and also like sometimes can be a danger like in, in some of the road signage and then then you go to pink color the pink is kind of like like feminine sentimental and also romantic you know those are the feeling emotion behind it and then the next one is orange orange is kind of like a, 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 a feeling of emotions I mean sorry feeling of vitality a feeling of like creativity and the feeling of like adventurous you know it's, it's always like you know looking for something else like you know being adventurous about it and then you got yellow yellow which is optimistic you know yellow and then you got playful as well and then happy you know happy is like what i said just now mcdonald's you got a happy face and and the golden arch as well and then you got uh, next one is uh, green green will probably be around it uh, natural and then green is kind of like a the, the growth it's like a plant you can you know have um that sort of a growth mindset and then you can even uh, put it under like prestige as well and wealth it is so um and then i'll just put another last one uh the, the blue color so blue can be um traditional conservative trustworthy um and also it can be calm and yeah these are the couple of uh examples that i'll give it to you like the emotions and the information that um when any customer perceive at your brand then that is the emotion they are getting so um so what i just talked about i'll just uh, sort of uh go recap on the um the three previous important um part that i just mentioned which are number one uh why brand colors are important and then two uh how customers respond to the uh, the colors and then the third one is the um, well-known example so it gives you an idea like um, this this tree pretty much cover the fundamentals of what white colors are important to your brand and then the last one what I do is I'll, I'll give you a breakdown of steps a very basic steps of um, some of the things that you can action for your brand and I'll just start with uh, like I think I'll we'll bring it down to about four uh, steps, right? So the first step is um, identify your brand essence, and then uh, from the essence, you lay it out your goals or for your brand, you know. So for your with your goals, you 
move into the next um, state of defining your audience so different audience has different uh, uh, attention and, and they will attract to certain colors that they like they prefer it. and then from audience you have personality traits so you see like even with colors it is a form of targeting the right customers within your target market and so um, you start with that for the first step and second step start with um, your competitors know who your competitor is uh, and know all your other competitors are and uh, to really sort of uh, avoid certain conflict in, in terms of let's say if you don't want to land up um, using a certain colors that a big corporate giant will, will call, give you a call uh, with legal uh, sort of uh, challenges you know and you, you want to avoid that and you want to understand where you can uh, go and where you can't cross and also to really um, define like alternative uh, that you can work around within the market without without letting your customers uh, your, or your potential customers from confused and um, to know that define that your your brand is different from the other brands and you know that that definition is really important if you get it prepared well in the first beginning stage now the third one the third step is to create brand colors and uh, th those are really important just for example if, if you were to dress up you don't want to dress up uh, a dress that or a hat or a scarf or your accessories to really um, style it away from the, the theme of your uh, your your dress dress up so say for example like um, you want to break down to different hues and family of a hues and uh, just like what I said just now certain colors represent you got this primary color and then you break it down to secondary and then you got tone and then you got the hues as well so you get a clear idea in the future how you're gonna really craft it and direct it in the right place without get stuck and misalign halfway so th th those are the really uh, important guide that you can really set it up in the early stage and we're looking at building that as a form of asset for your business now the uh, fourth step I will just keep it really simple the fourth steps are, uh, are uh, consists of quite a few few things but I will make it really simple uh, basically a brand a color brand guidelines so when you have a color brand guidelines right so you 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 you, you, you tend to have a lot of uh, uh, let's say logo placement on variety of platform you got offline and you got online so you basically you're gonna know the, the the position of the the color how is it gonna be positioned the, the usage as well and so there is a system that in place so your your business is um, in a good state of communication now I hope you guys enjoy this video and um, I would love any feedback if you have any question just uh, comment below in my uh, YouTube if you know anyone who would love this uh, to know more about uh, and learn uh, the breakdown of why brand colors are important for your for your business business feel free to share this link and um, subscribe it and um, yeah do your part to share it to the community and I hope that you guys enjoy this video and I'll We'll see you again. Take care. Bye.